My name is Lori Flick Roberts. I am uh, a technical assistant for the NYSERDA New Construction Program. Uh, NYSERDA is the New York State Research and Development Authority and they provide financial incentives to businesses and building owners who are building uh, construction essentially that's better than code. We were, our role was to serve as a technical assistance provider, so we created a computerized energy model of the entire building and its building systems to show energy savings over a code building. And then those savings were then calculated into uh, a financial incentive, which the development team will receive when the project is finished. In general, I think we just, we assessed what they had done in the building in terms of systems and provided input as to what financial incentives were available for each particular system type. Uh, we did have some limitations within the model, um, but those were all things that were accounted for and explained um, throughout the process. I do. Um, it's definitely the most aggressive building that I've seen in New York City in terms of sustainable features, particularly on the mechanical system side. Um, again, my energy model showed, I believe it was 40% savings, um, or over 40% savings. Um, but in general, I think, yeah, it was 44.4% savings. Say that again. And... Um, Again, I had some, there were some limitations in my model, so I would not be surprised if, you know, data get gathering at the end of the project after it's occupied, that there's significantly more savings than what was calculated. Well, I mean, the energy component for the latest lead version is the, the largest component for compliance. So the fact that it's heavily um, vested in energy and energy efficiency, I think that'll easily get them to the platinum realm. I mean, there are other components, sustainable sites, water efficiency, but certainly the energy component was where they were most aggressive, and that's where you need to be aggressive in order to reach platinum. Well, I think the, it, set, it certainly sets a bar and a standard that other buildings of that type and size could look up to in terms of um, efficiency and, and know that it's actually possible. Well, we know that they're, um, essentially we know that they work. So um, I think in general, uh, it's, a, it's a proven technology. He's sort of just the first person that's put everything uh, together in, in one building, specifically for New York City. I think that they would be um, uh, a building to strive for. They'd set a really good example in terms of what energy efficiency could be. Um, the tenant themselves are going to be, uh, you know, socially and environmentally conscious, and I think that will spill over into the community. Well, I think that there's a lot of components within the mechanical system that basically allow for it to have a, a fast reaction time. So it's not like it's just one system type with, with no controls. There are actually controls in place to alleviate or um, uh, respond to a number of uh, climate change conditions. Do I see myself personally? Um, I guess, sure. I mean, if, if my main goal is energy efficiency and, and we're basically trying to do that on every level from a, a small residential building up to high rise commercial or industrial buildings, sure. I really like the um, ventilation treatment system. So I've never seen the um, there's basically underground chambers that are treating air from 
the outside through to the system, and then there's a, multiple levels of of filtration. And to me, I think that's the most exciting part that I actually want to see work and see the results of. I could, sure. I mean, I, I buy my wind energy, all, you know, my lighting fixtures are, or um, LED or compact fluorescence, you know, I, you know, compost my, my garbage. I definitely think that I fit in well with this building. Um, I think that Robert was, was very determined to make this the most energy efficient building possible. So it was sort of inspiring to see someone who um, was so passionate about making it happen, um, no matter what the cost. Maybe that's not the best thing to say, but, but he certainly had um, ambition to, to get it done and get it done right.